Hello, my wonderful students. Here's a quick overview on section 2.1 slope intercept form. The slope intercept form of an equation is in the form y equals mx plus b. The m is the slope, the b is the y intercept. So you might be asked to graph an equation. So for instance, what is the graph of y equals 4 fifths x plus 2? Well, the y-intercept is the 2. So we're going to plot 0, 2 on the graph and put a point there. The slope is the 4 over 5. So from 0, 2, we're going to go up 4 and over 5. So going up 4 and over 5 takes us to the point 5, 6. And now that we have two points, we just draw the line through the points. Now, if we can graph an equation from, if we can make a graph from an equation, then we can make an equation from a graph. So, for instance, what is the equation of the line in slope intercept form? So we have a line. We can see that this line goes through the point 0, 1, and it goes through the point 4, negative 2. So to write an equation, we need the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope is the change in y over the change in x. Between these two points, we went down 3 and to the right 4. So the slope is negative 3 over 4. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So that crosses at 0, 1. So the b value is 1. So then the equation of the line, putting the slope in for m and the 1 in for the b, is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 1. Now, if you're given two points, you should be able to write the equation of the line. Find the equation of the line that passes through the points negative 1, negative 2, and 3, 4. So the first thing we want to do is find the slope. The slope is the change in y over the change in x. So we subtract the y values on top. We have the 4 and the negative 2, so we're subtracting the y values on the top. And we're subtracting the x values on the bottom. Now, minus a negative becomes plus. So 4 plus 2 becomes 6. And then 3 plus 1 becomes 4, and 6 over 4 will reduce to 3 over 2. So now, we want to write an equation. The equation is y equals mx plus b. So we had our slope, which was 3 over 2, and we had the one of these points. It doesn't matter which one we pick, but the 3, 4 has positive, so that's probably easier to pick. So the 3 over 2 is the slope, that goes in for the m. The 3 is the x, so that goes in for the x. And the 4 is the y, so that goes in for the y. So when we clean that up, that says 4 equals 3 over 2x plus b. Sorry, 4 equals 3 over 2 times 3 plus b. So now we want to solve for b. So multiplying times 3, we get 9 over 2. Then we want to subtract the 9 over 2 from the 4, and 4 as a fraction would be 8 over 2. So 8 over 2 minus 9 over 2 is negative 1 over 2. So that's the b value. So now we have the slope, which we put in for the m. We have the b value, which is the negative 1 half. So we can write the equation of the line. y equals 3 halves x minus 1 half. So that was a quick review of 2.1. Now let's see if you can do the work from that section.